Hello children, in this video we are going to solve questions from the logical reasoning section that was asked in the International Max Olympia 2017-18. So let's look at the questions. The first question is there on your screen. Which of the following options will complete the given figure? So this is your given figure and you have four options given here. You have to find out which of the options will complete the given figure. So very clearly you can see that the rectangle on this side is pink, this is also pink. So this has to be brown and the rectangle that comes here should also be brown. So very clearly you can eliminate option C, right? This option C is not your right answer because it is pink in color. Definitely we know that pink color cannot come there. So the rectangle that has to come in the missing place is a brown rectangle. Now let us look at option A, B and D and find out which is the correct one that will come. If you look at option A, here there is a red rectangle but in the given figure the rectangle in the corner in the big brown rectangle has to be a blue one. So definitely option A is also wrong. It has to be either option B or D. Now again comparing option B and D very clearly we can see that only if I place option B the center figure here will be complete. If I place option D then it will not become proper. So your correct answer here will be option B. Moving on to the next question. Select the duck that does not belong to the group. So there are four ducks given here and there is a number printed on each duck. In the first duck the number given is 761. The second one has the number 483. Third one has the number 276 and the fourth one has the number 185. Now which is the odd word out among these? Definitely it's going to be option C 276 because 276 is an even number. All the other numbers are given are odd numbers. Moving on to the next question. Find the combination of numbers so that letters are arranged accordingly to form a meaningful word. So here if you see each number stands for a particular letter. For example, 1 stands for R, 2 stands for S, 3 stands for I, 4 stands for T and 5 stands for H. So when I am arranging these numbers in a particular order, the word that I get will has to be a meaningful word. I have to find out what is that order. See, best way to solve such questions is to check with the options. Now look at option A. Now what is 4 stand for? 4 stands for T. 3 stands for I. S, I mean 2 stands for S. 1 stands for R. And 5 stands for H. So the word that you get here, right, when you arrange these numbers in the given order as in option A is T, I, S, R, H. Is there any meaningful word like that? No. So option A is not your correct answer. Similarly, now look at option B, option C and option D and see which will be the correct answer option. So if you look at option D, you have 2, 5, 3, 1, 4. Now 2 actually represents S, 5 represents H, 3 represents I, 1 represents R and 4 represents T. So the meaningful word that we form is shirt. So your correct answer here is option D, 2, 5, 3, 1, 4. If jacket means shirt, shirt means tie, tie means socks and socks means frock, then what do we cover, what do we wear to cover our feet? So how will you answer this question? See, they are saying that jacket means shirt. Or I can say that a shirt is called as a jacket. Similarly, they are saying shirt means tie. Or they are saying tie is called as shirt. Might be it's some code language. Correct? In the code language, tie is called as shirt. Similarly, tie means socks. Or I can say socks is called as tie. So, what do we cover our feet with? Obviously, we cover our feet with the socks. But here in this code, 
socks is called as tie so the answer that we are looking for is option c tie now one thing you have to keep in mind in uh, such questions is that the way you read the question see do not read the question like if jacket means two shirts remember there is a comma here correct look at all the punctuations that is given it is very important so you should give a pause if jacket means shirt comma shirt means tie comma tie means socks so read it like that with that pause then only you will be able to get the correct answer so i hope it is clear here socks is called as tie so what do we wear for our uh, what do we wear to cover our feet we cover our feet with tie correct answer is option c moving on four friends took part in a race who stood second in the race so there is some information that is given to us as to what uh, some of them are saying mohit says that i was faster than rahul but slower than ishita ishita says that i was never at the first place nor at the last place and mini says that i was at the first place so we have basically four people here and mini is already saying that she has come first in the race so if you look at the way when you arrange them right F first position second position third position and fourth position we know for sure that mini is the one who is coming in the position 1 now if you look at the options here it's for the given question see we are asked to find out who is coming second in the race so definitely option c is not going to be your right answer because mini is already coming in the first place now that's why i've written mini here so now we have to fill who is coming second who is coming third and who is coming fourth now let us look at what ishita and mohit are saying ishita says i was never at the first place nor at the last place so ishita can't come here that is first place anyway it's already occupied by mini and ishita can't come in the fourth place so where will ishita be ishita has to be either in the second place or in the third place again we have to find out among second and third place where will ishita come then now let us look at what mohit says mohit says that i was faster than rahul but slower than ishita so mohit says that i reach before rahul and mohit is faster than rahul means in the race mohit will reach before rahul but mohit is slower than ishita or mohit is not able to reach before ishita that is ishita reaches before mohit so now what is the order that we get we get that ishita reaches before mohit and mohit reaches before rahul or now very clearly we know that after ishita there are two people correct see ishita is actually reaching before mohit and rahul or i can say that ishita is in the second place mohit is in the third place and rahul is in the fourth place then only that is possible right see if ishita has to reach before mohit and rahul then ishita definitely has to be in the second place followed by mohit followed by rahul so who stood second in the race ishita stood second in the race your correct answer here will be option a moving on to the next question find the number of triangles in the given figure so how many triangles are there in the given figure see this black triangle that's the first triangle this yellow one right big yellow one that's the second triangle right one of the vertices is here like this this is the second triangle and then third triangle fourth fifth sixth 7 8 9 10 11 12 so totally how many triangles are there in the given figure totally there are 12 triangles in the given figure answer here is option c moving on to the next question find the correct mirror image of the given figure so here where is the mirror kept the mirror is placed vertically on the right hand side so this is how the mirror is placed that's the most important thing that you have to see when it comes to questions on mirror images so when the mirror is placed vertically like this either on the left hand side or on the right hand side the mirror image will be where the top and the bottom of the image will not change right when the mirror is placed vertically on the left hand side or on the right hand side the top and the bottom of the image 
in the mirror image will remain the same but the left and the right of the image will interchange or it will invert. So, here if you see the tail is on the right hand side. So, in the mirror image where will the tail be? The tail has to be on the left hand side. Correct? Similarly, like I said the top and the bottom of the image will not change. Top and bottom will remain the same. So, very clearly option C is wrong. Why? Here in option C top and the bottom have interchanged. So, when the mirror is placed either on the left hand side or on the right hand side vertically, the top and the bottom will not change. So, option C is wrong, it is eliminated. Now, like I said, if you look at the tail, the tail which here is on the right hand side will go to the left hand side. That is the tail on this side will become on this side. Similarly, if you look at the writings here, right, in the monkey's shirt, it has F, H and J. This F, H, J will also left and right will interchange and each of these alphabets will also become inverted. So, which, which is the first one that will come in the mirror image? It has to be J. Whatever is there in the right hand corner will come to the left. Correct? So, first it will be J followed by H followed by F and remember these letters will also be inverted. It will not be the same way. It will be inverted. So, which is your correct answer option here? Your correct answer option here will be option B. So, if you see in option B, the letters also from the left to right, the positions have interchanged. Whatever there was, in, whatever was there in the right end has now come to the left end and whatever there was in the left end has now gone to the right end and all the letters are inverted also. So, that is why the correct answer is option B. Option A is wrong because here J is not inverted and option D is wrong because here F is not inverted. Correct answer here is option B. Moving on to the next question. Mr. Sharma had to reach post office via library to post a letter. In how many different ways can he reach the post office? So, Mr. Sharma, if you see, he is standing here. So, now to go to the library, there are three ways in which he can go. This is his first way. You can see my pointer, right? I am just moving my pointer through that line. This is my second way. And which is my third way? This is my third way. So, Mr. Sharma can go in any of these three ways to reach the library. Again, from the library, he can use any of these three paths, either this path or the second path or the third path. Now, what is Mr. Sharma doing? The question is, in how many ways can he reach the post office? So, let us see how uh, in how many ways he can reach the post office. So, let us first consider that Mr. Sharma is using the first way, right? This is the first way. In this way, he is reaching the library. Now, after he reaches this library using this first path, correct? I am saying this is our first path. Once he reaches the library using the first path, from the library to the post office, in how many ways can he go? Three ways are there, correct? See, either this way or this way or this way. Okay? So, if Mr. Sharma is going through the first path, that is this path, correct? If he is going through this path to reach the library, then he has three ways of reaching the post office, correct? Uh, so, totally now we have got three ways. Then next, if Mr. Sharma is using this way to reach the post office, again there are three ways, correct? Either this one he can opt or this one or this one. Again, three ways to reach the post office. Now, if Mr. Sharma is planning to go through the third route, this route, correct, from his wherever he is to the library, then again there are three ways in which he can reach the post office. So, totally the number of ways in which he can reach the post office is nothing but 3 plus 3 plus 3, that is 9 ways, which is option B. So, I hope it is clear. Now, let us move on to the next question. Select the answer figure from the options which is not exactly embedded in the figure. So, which is the answer option which is not exactly embedded in the figure? It has to be option B. So, if you see, see option D is there here and embedded here, option A is here and option C that is also there. So, the only one that is not embedded in the figure is option B. 
how many groups of six girls can be formed from the given girls so totally in this figure if you see there are 12 girls so the first six girls right 1 2 3 4 5 6 they will form one group and the next six girls they will form another group so so how many groups can we form we can form two such groups so your answer here will be option a so with that we are coming to an end of the questions that were asked in the logical reasoning section. I hope all these questions were clear to all of you. Thank you.